Welcome to the Four Listeners Program. Welcome aboard, everybody. Thanks for checking us out this week. What up? I'm Spear. On the mics this week, we have the Z-Man. What's up, Z? Oh, you fancy, huh? Are you fancy, huh? Oh, you fancy, huh? Oh, you fancy, huh? Nails, nails, yeah. Nails done, hair done, everything did. Nails done, hair done, everything did. Oh, you fancy. Oh, you fancy. Oh, you fancy. Oh, you fancy. Nails done, hair done. Wow, that's horrible. Holy mother of Christ. What the fuck? On the other mic, we have the illustrious Corey G. What's up, buddy? Some munch and some Nilla wafers. Nilla wafers. Are you washing those down with a beer? Yep. Wow, that's... It's a good combo. That's weird. Uh, okay. Uh, you know what? Fuck you. I, I don't know. Fuck you. Joining us this week, welcome to the show, Katie. What's up, girlfriend? Hey, very excited to be here. Awesome. Nice to have the rest of you guys back. I kind of like I being mean, replaced by a soundboard. <laughs> well, let me, let me tell you, it was much easier to work with. Oh, oh really? Uh-huh. That's how you and feel. Only one, and only one mom joke. Yeah. <laughs> there could have been so much, so many more, though. Yeah. Uh-huh. Fantastic. You're out of touch, Spear. I know. I mean, you're talking about balls for about 30 minutes. Uh, I know. Yep. Yeah, you didn't even talk about tap, washing your balls. And tapping. Tapping. Yeah, tap it. the balls in. Yeah. Tap it in. Put, put it in on the green. Okay, clearly, clearly it was a good idea to do that show without you guys and having control over the soundboard. <laughs> much, much better idea. This week, something must be done about man sandals. Man sandals. Gantorn, what's your problem with man sandals? How do I put it into words? You look like a fucking idiot if you wear them, especially with socks. And just to be clear, we're not talking about flip-flops here. Those are okay. It's sandals. I don't know the technical difference or definition, but you know them when you see them. Is it all, so don't, it's don't all do sandals, it. though? It's all sandals? Yes. Every... Every possible type of sandal in existence ever, in- including the including the the, the tevas. Well, that depends on what kind of tevas you have. But, but I mean, there's different kinds of tevas. Well, what kind do you have? The ones that yeah. look like sandals, asshole. <laughs> well, that would be a no. You can't wear those because they got straps on them, right? You have a problem with the straps? Is that the, yep. is that the deal? Yeah. Anything that's not a flip flop and it's not a shoe. Anything that's not a flip flop and not a shoe. What what is the what is the purpose? What is the reason? Is it is it something that's not manly cuz I mean that's No, it's not I mean it doesn't have anything to do with that. It's like let's let's put it this way. Katie, would you would you bang a dude wearing man sandals? You know, I was thinking you were being kind of silly about it, but now that you mention it, I don't think I would bang a dude unless it was like a good pair of flip flops or something. I said flip flops don't count. We're just talking exactly. sandals here. No, I know. So there, I didn't think there was going to be this huge distinction, but I actually think there is. It might also be that guys are extremely bad about keeping their feet clean, which just like, I mean, that takes it to a whole nother, another level. But yes, I, I agree. Guys See, she would, she would so not beautiful. bang a dude wearing sandals, and she's probably a little slutty. I'm just guessing. I don't really know you, but. Oh, tell me, tell me if I'm wrong. Just a little bit, not like huge slut, but definitely at least a small one. So you would bang a dude, the same dude, if he wasn't wearing sandals, right? Quite possibly. I rest my case. Wow. Wow, that's a that's a public service right there. <laughs> All right, so so we're saying definitively that that man sandals lessen a man's sex appeal. Where, where where do you come down on the on the man purse? I say messenger bags and backpacks are okay. Anything more pursy like that, like a shoulder bag, or what are those? A fanny pack. Yes, a fanny pack of sorts, but there are also those like travel things that you wear around your neck. None of those are okay. I, see, I, I I I'm of the opinion that there is no there is no excuse for a man to be wearing a a satchel. Of any kind, unless it's like a briefcase or a laptop case, that's it. What about a straight out of World War Two messenger bag? No. Oh come on! Are you're you fi- are you mouth, fighting a you're war? Bad mouth World War Two veterans. Are you fighting a war? Are they fighting a war? Who's who's carrying messages across the, the, the front lines? You know what? Maybe they're spies, Spear. 
Maybe really? their dad was a messenger, their granddad, and they want to honor his memory. They're honoring by his memory. carrying his his messenger bag. What 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 are you carrying in the messenger bag? And this is where maybe my problem I, is. Maybe I've got guns in there, Spear. I, I don't. Do, I don't even want to talk about you and guns, okay? Because you scare the shit out of me. So the last so, thing, the I'm last thing I need me. the last thing I need is for you to be wandering around with a concealed with a concealed uh, weapon, and then going postal on anybody who comes along. You know what? Say it to my face. I, I'll say it to your face. Turn on your <laughs> fucking webcam, asshole. <laughs> Uh, so I want to go back to a, a comment Katie made earlier, and you'll see my dedication for the show when I tell you about this. Uh-oh. My wife, as a surprise, sneak, trick, Father's Day present, got me a pedicure and a man's facial. <laughs> that is awesome. How'd I'll, I'll that work out for you? It was actually pretty nice. That is also the gift that keeps on giving, because now she doesn't have to look at your nasty ass feet anymore. It's the it's the gift that keeps on giving because now I can mock you endlessly. I told you this is that's how dedicated I am to the show. So so what I'm wondering what I'm wondering, Ganshorn, is is whether or not you have uh you have traversed into the uh to the land of the metrosexual. Yes, I have. I have manscaped before. So this is this is this is a, a, a phenomenon that I don't quite understand. Um, yeah, and I'll be honest. You know, I'm not. I don't. I don't do a whole lot of um, meticulous grooming, as, as as it were. Or any. I do some. I, I, I said you trip. Didn't you bust Did you my trim? balls when I bought uh, nose hair scissors? I did. Yes. I was going to ask you. Do you trim your nose hair? Yeah. Uh huh. Basic, well, ma- so. basic, how, ma- basic how, maintenance. How can you bust my balls if you don't own nose hair scissors? I don't own nose hair scissors. I just have the the, the electric trimmer. Yeah. Oh, those things are terrible. You got to get a nice set of scissors. Yeah. Don't those pull out the nose hair sometimes? Yeah, it's very painful. It makes you cry. But I'm I'm down I'm down with basic maintenance, right? Shaving, the haircuts, the um, you know the the occasional eyebrow trimming. Um, bleach your asshole. No. <laughs> <laughs> then you don't love your wife. What? What? Explain to me why that is the case. <laughs> She'd do it for you. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah, this is. A... <laughs> <laughs> Better be careful there. <laughs> yeah, this is going to get to a very uh, weird place. Um, no, I'm. I'm fairly certain that that it's not something that we would do for each other. Even hmm. though our love for each other is strong, does she trim her junk? I can neither. Can come on. I, I can. <laughs> come why on. don't you answer the question, Ganshorn? Because it's been so long, I don't remember. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, let's just make an assumption here, which is that most women nowadays at least keep it trimmed, if not spotless. So let's just go with that and. Make the arguments from that point. Well, I guess not talk about each other's wives. Well, I guess the argument is that there's a certain there's a certain double standard, right? Where men expect a certain level of grooming from women that they don't expect of themselves. Is that a, is that a fair statement to make? Yes. I I am I'm, I'm an equal opportunity guy. I expect my girl to be trimmed and cleaned, and I do the same. I would say from experience that most guys do not have it as clean as I would like. But then I ask them to do it, and they usually will. So is that like 37 dicks experience, or? In a row? <laughs> too many to tell. Way too many to tell. So how do you go about, well, I gotta, I gotta ask this question. How do you go about asking a guy to shave his junk? Because I, I gotta tell you, there's a certain amount of trepidation that goes into it for me. I, I cut myself shaving my face. We're not. We're not talking. We're not talking like a, a straight edge here. We're talking no, clippers. No. Yeah, you just shorten it up. So you would use the same clippers you use on your face. To... No, you you buy a special pair of scissors that you use that are not used for anything else. Okay, so you're gonna or use. Or you can get an electric razor that you would use to like buzz your head. And you yeah, electric that clippers. That's there. what I use. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so wait a minute, Gantoin. You would use you would use scissors around your junk. Yeah, I'm not an imbecile. Hey, dude, I, I mean, that's that's a little dangerous, no? I'm highly dexterous with my fingers. Ask your mom. <laughs> <laughs> so it's interesting that we're saying that, that we want to 
we'd want to trim. And, and I, I'm imagining. Uh, uh, let me ask this: We're trimming, we're trimming the pubic hair to make it more attractive. It's not, not more, more attractive. attractive. Yeah, just, it's just that it's not all in your face. Exactly. You don't want it caught in your teeth. You don't want to be pulling it out of your mouth when you're done. You want it to be a nice clean experience. <laughs> right, and then it doesn't it doesn't Are smell you as much. At my pain? Is that what yeah, happened? a little bit. Oh, bastard. There, there Wait, was a um. There was a, a, a virologist at the University of College of London that had um, that had said that pubic hair developed as a sexual ornament. I mean, as we as we evolved past past primates and we you know we lost the rest of our the rest of our body hair, the human pubic hair acquired a new role as a prominent sexual ornament, a, a, a visual sign, if you will, of sexual maturity. So are, 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 are we saying that? Are we saying that if see? I, I'm thinking that. I'm thinking that it's like a Samson and Delilah type of deal. You know, you trim that hair and you lose some of your virility, some of your your sexual prowess. Absolutely not. Yeah, I'm gonna have to screw totally that. We disagree on that. Plus, it makes it look bigger. Well, dude, I don't have that problem because mine's like a foot long. So, if anything, I'm trying to like you know, dumb it down a little bit. Sorry, I don't. Nobody's gonna that. believe that, Spear. <laughs> dude, I will turn on this webcam right now. I will knock wow, you out from it. my present vantage. <laughs> All right, Katie, you no, tell us it. if he's lying or not. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> I still think uh, you should yeah. trim it down. I mean, we're not saying you should get rid of all of it. We're just saying take it back to a manageable level. Yeah. Get a little buzz cut, like a little military cut. <laughs> like, a, like a military cut. Yeah. It's not like a little soldier going off to war. Well, it's kind Maybe of. It is. <laughs> I, I'm a lover, not a fighter. I'm a exactly. I think we need Shelly's opinion. Why don't we get Michelle's opinion? Why don't you get your wife on? Why is it always my wife that gets dragged into this conversation? Where the fuck's yours there, Ganshorn? My wife does not put up with this shit. <laughs> Neither does mine, so what the fuck? I've got two roommates. Do you want me to put them on for a second? Yeah, are they, yes. Are they hot? Yes, they're both very hot. Yes, excellent. The more the merrier. Bring them on. They have to show their tits, though. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Hey girls, can I get your opinion on something? Well, let's let's bring in let's bring in some new let's bring in some new opinions into the show. Who else do we have with with Katie right now? We have Antonina and Danielle. Hi. Oh. Hi. Hi. So the question the question is, are men are men more attractive sexually if they manscape? I wouldn't say that's jump. a deciding factor of attractiveness, but you. I I think <laughs> I think they should be. I mean, it's just like, like it's just not... like you know how women you don't not mo- most men don't want like a full bush. It's kind of the same for for guys for us. I think. Yeah. See, it's not just me. Yeah, I didn't even know your no, opinion. Yeah, no, this, is, yeah. <laughs> this is this is a general consensus of yeah. No. Pretty sure most of the but also population. I I don't personally I don't like nothing. No. I think that's weird too. I've seen that. Was... that. Okay, so the so crazy. the shave the shaved ball sack the the nothing there. Not attractive then. No. Makes it look like a little boy, right? Yeah, it almost like like it's natural. It's obviously not, but almost like it if it was natural, it's kind of not too short. Just right. <laughs> okay, so trim, trim, but not shaven. Not like a buzz cut. Buzz cut. So that's the second time I've heard that. So this is like the so so you guys are into the whole military style little soldier going off to war. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, you need a little grass to stand on. <laughs> if there's grass on the field, play ball. Is that what you're saying? I'm sorry, what? If there's grass on the field, play ball. Yeah, there you but go. Not, not, we're not looking to go play in the field, you know? We don't want to play out in the wilderness and, like, the weeds and shit. So you just want it in your mouth is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> well, that, that's what I heard, so I'm, I'm going <laughs> Radio show. You are secretly on a radio what? show. What? It's a podcast. What's that mean? <laughs> <laughs> what? It means this will go on iTunes. What? what? Are you fucking kidding? Do people listen to this? I really wish the webcam was working. <laughs> <laughs> you can spank Katie later. Hey. Who are you? 
Where did you come from? <laughs> Alright, boys, did you, did you get enough of the opinions? The well, do they want to weigh in on the other topics? What are they? Mercy? Um, man, man sandals. Man sandals. Oh, those, sandals. Aren't as, those aren't as interesting. Terrible. Yeah, but see, we need to reinforce this so Spear gets the point. I don't understand why men can't wear sandals. I have a pair of Tevas that I wear all the time, so I'm not exactly Tivas sure. Are the biggest no-no ever. <laughs> <laughs> I will not talk to you if you're wearing Tevas. If ever. I knew you were wearing Tevas, are you wearing them right now? I am not wearing them right now, no. Okay, we okay. can continue. So the roommates say no to man sandals. They also say two thumbs up for manscaping. Here's, here's, a, here's another question. As long as we're on the topic of, of manscaping... Where do we come down on men wearing makeup? None. Who the fuck does that? Men wear makeup, right? Metrosexuals? Unless you're Captain Jack Sparrow? No. All right. Where, where do you guys come down on expensive hair care products for men? I'm actually uh, okay with hair care products. Yep. If it's not called pert or, or head and shoulders, no. See? I, I agree with Zeth. What about the guys who have really unruly curly hair that needs to have something in it so it doesn't turn into a fro? Are you just going to make them walk around with a fro all the time? I believe that they should be able to manage that with whatever they have at their disposal. And if not, they can use the same stuff that they use to clip their curly hair that they have down below. <laughs> awesome. So here's, here's, one, here's one last thing. There's, there's a store in the mall near me called The Art of Shaving. Have you heard of this store? It's where I bought my scissors, like motherfucker. All right, so this is like this is like the manscaping store, where you can spend hundreds of dollars on shaving products and and other and other accessories for to manscape with. I mean, can we, if we're going to manscape, can we at least can we at least admit that there doesn't need to be very special equipment for this? No, nah, if you're going to do it, you should do it right. Well, do it right. Do it right means have the right tools. Do, do the tools need to be, like, totally expensive? Like, I saw the other day they had, like, a, a Gillette Fusion, uh, a Gillette Fusion, just, just the holder, right? Not the blade itself for, like, $50. He had a stand and a base and the, the thing to warm your, your shaving cream and the whole fucking thing. And I'm like, what? I mean, do, hmm. do you? Must you? Do you need to? Would you? Could you with the mouse? <laughs> I would not, could not, with not, not, not. Not in the house, not with a mouse, not in a box, not with a fox. I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. Nicely done. I have a three-year-old. Oh. <laughs> I, I don't have any excuse. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to say that I actually hate that store. Because it's completely inefficient in the end. All you need is a little bit of shaving cream and a razor. And I mean, for goodness sakes, do not use a disposable razor because you'll cut up your face. But like when the guys pull out the little brush that you use to put it on your face and then you take a straight blade, like that's just silly. We have technology and it should be used. Yeah, well the technology I use is I put a little put a little bit in my hand and then just rub it on my face. What kind of fucking technology do you need at that point? Uh what about eyebrow tweezing? Like what about those, uh, I, I, well, all right, the, so the... yeah. That's, I think that's a little too far. I mean, I think there's, I think there's an opportunity to tr trim a little bit, maybe. So you I'm get talking, the I'm talking like sculptured. I'm talking sculptured shit like they have on a Jersey Shore. Oh fuck no! Oh no! Oh no no! No, no I'm, I'm no. all for like cleaning up a unibrow or or making it so you don't have giant bushy things with crazy hair. I'm talking about like the fucking ones that are tweezed and and and, and cleaned up more than a girl would have. No, that, I that, would that, say that... those are the equivalent to girls who pencil on their eyebrows. It's yeah, what is that all about? I don't get that. It freaks me out. I have Why do they shave their eyebrows no and then write them back into pencils? I have no fucking clue. Yeah, you know what the funny part about it is? I mean, most mostly, and I'll admit it, the tweezing of the eyebrow hurts a little bit, you know? That's because you're a pussy. Exactly. Oh, oh shit. But I just, no, I'm, I'm agreeing with her, right? <laughs> I'm agreeing with her. I think most men are pussies when it comes to that kind of thing. I'm not tweezing my eyebrows. This shit hurts. That's I, I'm I'm agreeing with her. I'm a pussy. I'm saying it out loud. Yay! Now neither one of you is going to admit to that, right? What tweezing or yeah. that hurts? Tweezing, and that you know you don't get around to tweezing mostly because ah oh, fuck that it hurts. I don't know. I tweeze it. I don't think it hurts that much. All right, Gansman, come on. It hurts a little bit, but you get used to it. Unless you're a pussy. All right, so I'm a pussy then. Yep. Yeah. 
You know what the thing is, though, Gantor? Your mom doesn't mind that bushy eyebrows. You know what I'm saying? Dude, it doesn't work the other way around. It really that doesn't was work. Terrible. Fuck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was, that was that pretty was bad, dude. So bad. Yeah. That's all right. I'll just edit that whole part out. Awesome. No, you need to keep that shit in there. <laughs> Go along with the fuck spear up in embarrassment this episode that we had going on. <laughs> yeah. I'll, Tevis, I'll... please. Come on. What Tevis do you have? What Tevas do I have? Yeah. I, I, I don't know what they're called. They're fucking Tevas. How many straps? Uh, Three. Three straps. Okay, so not... Those are like classic Tevas right there. Nothing too fancy. I've got the ones that have the um the bottle openers on the bottom. Those are... Have, no, are you talking about the flip-flops with the bottle openers on the bottom? Yeah. Wait, why would cool, you want to open a bottle with a bottle opener that you have on the sole of your foot? Yeah, it seems like such a great idea, but when in practice, it's not nearly as cool. You're walking on on that shoe, right? Yeah. And then you're going to open a bottle with it? Yeah. And, and then you're going to drink from that bottle? Probably. How the fuck does that make any sense? It's convenient. Convenient. Convenient to what? Pick up all kinds of diseases? Well, I used your mom for that, but... Oh. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> That's how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. That's uh, right, Spear. What You'll what get the hang of it one of these else? days. Yeah, yeah, fuck your mom. What What did we learn today, then? <laughs> what did we learn? All right. um, Mary, Mary, quite contrary. Cut that bush at short M. Harry. Nice. I, I like that lesson wrapped up into a neat little nursery, nursery rhyme there. You know, courtesy, courtesy of the dice man. If you ever have a fashion question, do the opposite of whatever Spear tells you. <sighs> Thank you. That's a good learning. Thank you, Gantorn. Uh, Katie, what did you learn today? I feel like I already knew all this shit. Okay, well, fuck but... your mom. <laughs> uh, fantastic, then. Uh, <laughs> I learned I learned that there is... Uh, I learned I can't make a good mom joke, and I learned that um, Gantorn and Zeth have um, no, no morals whatsoever at um, making them. So if you want to go ahead and make a mom joke about my mom, or if you have a manscaping tip, why don't you go ahead and post it on the Facebook page, facebook.com slash four listeners or four listeners.com. Or you can check us out on the iTunes. Go ahead and give us a download. Uh, search for four listeners. We'll pop right on up. Thank you, Katie, for being a part of the show and, and for dragging your roommates into, into this debacle. Please apologize for all of us um, and for Gantorn especially. I'm sure they're quite all right. And can I have your mom's number, by the way? Because she kind of sounds like a whore. Oh, my God. Oh, burn. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for checking us out this week. We hope we see you. Oh, fuck. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs>